what's up guys it's your girl carlita xoxo and in today's video as you can tell by the title i am going to be hosting a fortnite tournament this is my very first fortnite tournament and in today's tournament i have four of my brothers participating so for a better understanding of how this will work all four of my brothers are going to be competing against one another in this nice tilted map the last place winner or the one who is disqualified will not be able to move forward in this competition. The other three competitors will have to go up against each other. The person who wins first place in the first match will not have to participate in the second match. The second and third place winners will actually 1v1 against each other in box fighting. And whoever gets the 21 points first will move on to the last match. In the last match, my last two brothers will have to 1v1 each other in box fight. And whoever gets to seven points first will win the new loser fruit skin inside of the item shop. If you guys are interested to see how this works and who will win, make sure you guys stay tuned. If you are liking my channel so far, make sure you are giving me a big thumbs up. And make sure you are also subscribing and turning on my post notifications. Comment down in the comment section below and tell me who you guys think will win. And with that being said, let's get into today's video. Okay, so the first person we have is King DJ Superfly. You guys know him on Roblox, but you are not familiar with him on Fortnite. I know his name on Fortnite is B-More J, but that's actually because he uses his brother's old account that is no longer in use. So if you guys wanna go on ahead and send him a fin request, make sure you feel free. And don't forget to let me know down in the comment section below who you think will be the winner of today's tournament. And the winner of the first round goes to my brother, Corral. And I'm so here for the toxic emotes. Yes, take a seat. We're now on round two, and this time we are spectating Jay. That was honestly kind of big brain of him to use the stink bomb since Corral had high ground. That actually caused him to come down so he wouldn't get the five tick damage. Now, as you can see, these two are 1v1ing if I am not mistaken. So let's see who takes home the win. Like such dripper is going to take home the win shout out to you you guys may know such dripper he's been in a lot of my videos if you guys also want to go on ahead and add him on fortnite and you know play with him from time to time i'm quite sure he will also enjoy that as well now we are on our third round and we are now spectating such dripper so let's see what he has to offer when it comes to these build edits and aims Okay, you guys, so it kind of looks like Sasha Dripper put himself in a bouncy house, which it looks like he just escaped from. Thankfully, I'm not sure if he's going to be able to take this dub with the storm coming in. It looks like DJ has it. Shout out to DJ. This was his first and only win. Um, kudos to him. Once again, if you guys want to go on ahead and follow him and, you know, chat with him and play with him, I think that would really be fun for you guys. We're going to go on ahead and move on to the next round. Okay, guys, so Tilted started lagging and Sasha Stripper wasn't following the directions, so that resulted in him being disqualified. Corral ended up having the most kills, so he's automatically going to be in the finals. These two will actually 1v1, and the winner will end up going against Corral in the finals. If you guys are unfamiliar with box fighting, then allow me to explain. 1v1 box fighting is held between two participants. 
The way this works is usually a wall is built in between these two people and one of these people will usually edit the wall into a upside down U. Once the edit is done, they will cross paths by running and beginning to build. Whoever makes a high ground first will try to beam the other player so that they will not reach high ground. If the other person reach high ground, you will obviously want to reach a higher ground. If you cannot reach a higher ground, you will want to try to beam their builds down so that they fall at your level. As you can see, DJ was very unfamiliar with 1v1 box fighting, so Flex was able to get a free kill on him because during a box fight, you're not allowed to reset builds until someone gets their kill. These are the rules that I usually abide by when doing 1v1 box fighting. If you find me to be incorrect or missing some rules, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoy watching them 1v1 and I will see you guys again during the finals. As you can see, my brother Jay was actually able to end round two off with a score of 15 versus 5. He made it to the finals and now it's time for him and Corral to participate. Here is how they feel. It ain't no surprise that I made it to the finals because I'm good at the game and that's why I know I'm a win. Yes, I like the energy. He ain't cocky. He confident. What about you, Corral? I'm really happy I made it to the final because I would like to have the Icon Laser Fruit. I know I'm going to win this tournament because I've been practicing all day and it's too easy like a sweat like me. I guess the only way to find out who won you guys is to continue watching. Okay, so it looks like Corral did really good with getting high ground first. That actually put Jay in a really bad place. Luckily, Corral ended up jumping down, so it gave Jay more leverage. And it also helped him to get the first kill in today's finals.
Okay, so as you guys just saw, Corral took the second kill in the final. So we now get to spectate Corral. This will allow us to see how he builds in edits. I'm not sure if you guys are keeping up with the score, but it is currently six to four. If Corral gets the next kill, then he will automatically be the winner of today's tournament. Jay will be kicked from the party and I will proceed to keep my word and give Corral the icon Siri loser fruit skin. If you guys are interested, make sure you are staying tuned for the end of the video. As you can see, Corral is a very toxic person and honestly, that's not even surprising because he's just as toxic as a brother as he is as a Fortnite player, so. And I, oh. Is there any last words that you want to give to my viewers? Congrats on the win. If you would like to say anything, now is the time. I knew I was gonna win because he suck and thank you, my sister Kalita because she gave me the loser fruit. You are so very welcome. Thank you for participating in my video and helping me out with some content. I'm gonna go on ahead and give you the loser fruit skin right now. I hope you enjoy it. I'm also gonna give away second and third place prizes to the other ones who participated and came out and helped me in today's video i am going to give the fruit pickaxes to jay for coming in second and i'm also going to give away the loser fruit emote to dj for coming in third i appreciate you guys once again and i'll get back to you guys during the outro And that is the end of today's video. I would like to personally thank all of my brothers for coming out and helping me with today's content. I appreciate every single last one of you guys for watching my videos and staying tuned until the end. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on my post notifications. Don't forget to share my videos with your friends and family because that helps out bunches. And until next time, as always, bye! <laughs>